This is really the fighter and the kid. Come on, baby. Tom McDonald, been a fan for a while. Glad you're here. Thanks, brother. Yeah, I tried getting on a while. Jelly Roll connected us. Jelly Roll's your That's boy. That's right. Yeah, Jelly Roll connected yep. us. You think this is the guy, man? He has the same hustle, man. He's doing the damn thing. He's fighting the good fight. And yeah. I looked in you. I'm like, man, is he fighting? That boy's. Well, it's fighting with, with art and smart. It's like that, there's that great saying by Einstein criticized by creating. It's kind of what you do. It's what I've been doing, yeah. 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 I don't know if Jelly would, would be able to say that, give me the same uh, glowing review these days now that he's sort of at the Grammys. Or star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's such a good guy, though. He's amazing. Yeah. He's amazing. Yeah, I, I, yeah I don't know how it is. I don't, you know, he's, uh, who would have thought? Like, he's just like, he's hosting American Idol. Like, he, American Idol? Like, Jelly Roll has tattoos on his face. He's like an American <laughs> Idol. Yeah, yeah. He's at the Grammys. There's hope for guys like me, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a matter of time, bro. Yeah. You've got Ben Shapiro. you got other people in the mix. It's exciting. I don't know if you go from rap song with Ben Shapiro to hosting American Idol, but, like, you never I, know, I just, know these the days. Fact, the fact that they need made, ratings. Yeah. That's, that's true. It's that's true. true. And the fact that you made that work. Like, I was like a, a Ben Shapiro, and it was fun. It was really yeah, really well done. Yeah, Thanks, it just, man. It, just it was musically kind of like it worked. Well, I mean, Ben did his thing, man. Like it was actually, I was horrified. Like when when we first met with Ben's team and and we did a little interview on the Shapiro show, and Ben kind of made a joke about like, oh, like maybe we can do a rap song together sometime. And we both just kind of laughed at it. And then the second the interview ended, I walked into the living room and Nova sitting on the couch, and I was like, we got to get Ben on a rap song. Like we, we so it was your idea? Yeah. Well, we should mention that Nova Rockefeller is your, was your best friend and now your girl. Yeah. And has been for a long time. And she is 100% Illuminati. Confirmed. <clears throat> confirmed you heard 100% it here. Illuminati. Yeah, as of, as, as of <laughs> today, yeah, confirmed. 100%. Yeah, yeah. She's, uh, you can see that. And, and uh, there are people right now, you guys came here, and for any of you conspiracy theorists, and you know I don't believe in conspiracies, but, but this there one? are a lot of black vans, SUVs, and black helicopters, including the windows blacked out. So I don't know what the fuck is going on, but I like it. So, so Tom, you're totally independent. And with your success, have have any of the big wigs come sniffing around? Because usually they don't care. They just want numbers. Yeah, tons, tons of times. Yeah. Like we've, we've gone for meetings at... Um, where was it, Nova? Something Sony. Sony. Uh, yeah, but tons of times, like they, they, I did a whole video on my on my Instagram one time of replying to label emails. So there's one there from Uni Universal and one there from Warner, and uh, I was hitting them back with these like hilarious responses, like quoting Pink Floyd and "We don't want your record deal," yeah. and like and sending and sending replies to them. So they, they've come sniffing around like a bunch of times. But why don't you? Why don't you ever want to do that? Well, I think it's like it's, it's multiple things. Like one, like I've spent my entire career like doing what I want, when I want, saying what I want, how I want to do it. Uh, so I'm like not interested in being you know controlled in any way, shape, or form by one of these labels. Um, <clears throat> and it's just like I'm not interested in having my message changed. Um, I'm not here to do like overproduced, wrapped in plastic, mass manufactured bullshit. Like that's not for me. When did you, when was the moment that you decided you were going to start talking the way you do, rapping the way you do? Like what was, was there a moment where you looked at the world and went, I got to do something here? Yeah, it was like kind of like a, it was kind of a fucked up situation, honestly. Like it's like kind of embarrassing, but like I used to make the same type of music that, I sort of am critical of now in hip hop. Like I used to make tons of records about cars and clothes and drinking and partying and drugs yeah. and girls and all that shit. Like I was, you know, I was emulating what my favorite rappers were doing in my music, which I think a lot of people do that when they first start out. So I did that for a while, but the problem was like, I wasn't just like emulating it create creatively. I started like living like that. And I was like drinking all the time and partying all the time and valuing the wrong shit which led to like a pretty acute stint with like alcoholism. Like I was an alcoholic for like a long time. Like, and it was like gnarly. But like, those bars were fire. <laughs> yeah, they were. They, yeah, it was hard. Bars were fire. Yeah, yeah. By the way, I'm so that, old wait, that wait, I was like, bars? Yeah, was that like a bars. double entendre? That you yeah. Did? yeah, that yeah. fire. Um, so, so, you know, I started like emulating that lifestyle, which led down to like just a wicked stint with, with alcoholism. And um, that accumulated into 
like a massive mental break. Like I, I got home from the club one night at like 3 a.m. and I was laying in bed and I had like Jimmy Fallon or some shit on my laptop to just fall asleep. And all of a sudden, like I had this weird rush of something. I'm not sure what it was. And I, and I got to get out of bed and it wasn't like the drunk wobbles. It was like, I turned my head and the whole room went like, <laughs> and then my heart starts pounding in my chest. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to fucking die. Mm. I'm having a fucking heart attack. Like what the fuck is going on? And I spent from three in the morning till 9 a.m. the next day, like walking from my bedroom to my bathroom. I look in the mirror. I was so white. I didn't even recognize myself. I walked back to my bedroom and it was dark and I turned the lights on. And then by the time I got back to the bathroom, back to my bedroom, the lights were bothering me and I turned the lights off like I was losing it. I was just losing my mind. Um, so I had this big mental break and I was like laying on the floor and I called my mom and she didn't answer and I left her like a really scary voicemail on her phone. Like I need, I need help. Like something, Jeez. you know, going, uh, something's going south. So like my ma ended up, like I went to all these doctors and they put me on all these pills, like, um, they put me on Ativan, they put me on Seroquel, they put me on like all these different types of shit, uh, Ciprolex, and nothing was helping. I was just like mentally not there. I couldn't talk on the phone. I couldn't go outside. I couldn't exercise. I was like, I couldn't eat. Like I'd wake up in the morning, I'd fry one egg and I'd eat one egg a day and I'd be like gagging, trying Jeez, to get damn. one egg down. I was so sick. So this, this, this whole thing- and went, this was a mental thing going on. Yeah, it was like yeah. a, some sort of like acute anxiety, depression, like just totally dissociated from the world around me. Like it was gnarly. So this went on for like 10 months. I had, to, I had to, my ma got like a friend of mine to break into my house, kidnap me, take me to the airport, put me on a plane and send me home. How and old I, were you? God, this is like six years ago. So like 20, 28 or 29. Wow. So, yeah, so I went back home and uh, lived with my ma for like 10 months. And it was like, it was tough, dude. Like I said, two things to her every day. I'd wake up in the morning. She'd say, how you doing? I'd say, not good. She'd go to work. She'd come home from work. She'd say, how you doing? I'd say, not good. And I'd go to bed. And when I was laying in bed at night, man, I'd have like a podcast playing on my phone, a show on my laptop. Because if I didn't, if I wasn't totally surrounded by something like the silence, I would have killed myself. Jesus, like it was horrible. You so, felt, you felt that you felt truly suicidal. Yeah, every, every minute of every day, like. And then I, I ended up going to the doctor, and I was like, "Hey, like, I haven't said this in in such basic terms to a doctor yet, but like, if you don't give me something right now to like take the edge off, I'm gonna kill myself. Yeah. I'm not gonna be here tomorrow. Like, I'm gonna kill myself today if you don't give me something." Damn. So he gave me some like kick ass like Ativan Xanax type shit. And I went home and took it and cuz it was it the anxiety or the depression? It was both. Both, right? It was <clears throat> constant all, all the time. All above. Yeah. Fuck. Answer so, is D. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah, so Hey man. <laughs> So we're like scared? No, I, because sometimes it's a, you don't <laughs> know if it's depression God. or anxiety or all, it's know. all the same shit. Well, yeah. Well, it was it was a bunch of different that. shit that all formed this like this inner turmoil Super. it was like yeah. fucking weird so I, I got home and i took this this pill that he gave me and like 30 minutes later i had chilled out and for like the first time in like 10 months mm. i fucking felt like myself Damn. and i was like holy shit like i remembered like who i was like i hadn't made music i hadn't talked to my friends like nothing i was like lit when you hear people say oh he's a shell of who he used to be like i always sort of roll my eyes at like abstract shit like that and this was that Damn. Like I was looking in the mirror and I was like, I look like me, but I don't fucking recognize me. So I took that pill um, and I sort of, I got a hold on like who I was and I just fucking had a death grip on it. And I just took, you know, the pills for a very short period of time so I could get comfortable feeling in my own body again, cut off the pills, went to therapy, uh, did a lot of research and reading about mental illness exercise all the fucking time cut out all caffeine all fast food no soda no cigarettes no weed no alcohol nothing Damn. like stone cold sober um and sort of like as i the you know the smoke started to clear i was like i don't want to make music anymore that's going to 
influence people to go down the same path that I did because it was so fucking destructive mm -hmm. to me. And I feel like that type of music, like if you listen to it, that's fine. I'm critical of it, but like I'm not like don't listen to it. Just understand what you're listening to. Yep. It's like this is branding and and and, and corporate initiatives and 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 you know and 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 marketability. And if you understand that, then I think you're immune to the a lot of the negative effects that you can experience from that type of okay. shit. So um so I would just had this like, you know, this come to Jesus moment where like I had an epiphany and I was like, I don't want to make that shit no more. I want to, in, in, instead of making music that's going to erode people's sort of like uh, morality, like I want to make music that's, that's going to inform people about shit and wake people up and empower people. And um, that was sort of the moment where I was like, fuck it. I'm going to make music about the shit that I'm truly interested in, which is not cars and clothes and, and bullshit. It's, it's fucking, it's politics. It's the truth behind, you know, it's Truman it's show shit. Yeah. Yeah. It also makes you different. Yeah. Like otherwise you're just another, you know, white rapper rapping about cars and hoes and boats. You right. Know? And I, I think, I think yeah, I don't even know if you're a conspiracy theorist. Cause when I listen to your lyrics, it's like, you're talking about almost like we're being fed bullshit, which is this ideology and then you're going, but like two plus two is just four. It's kind of how I look at it. Yeah. You're literally yeah. going, the, you guys are telling me that two plus two is 16. And I'm telling you that two plus two is four. Yeah. <laughs> because it's just simple math. It's like, I mean, obviously the way you do it is different, but. Yeah, it's. it's like it's, You're the kind of conspiracy theorist I, I agree with. Yeah. Do they label you a conspiracy theorist? Uh, I mean. I, I, I kind of am to some degree. Like I'm into that shit. Well, just, I'll get, uh, yeah, just because it's interesting to me. But like, it's I, it's better than what we're being told. Well, yeah, that's for sure. But the conspiracy, like, if you look at like they were talking about um, Ozempic, which is right now, Ozempic is the it's a European company. It got Oprah uh, skinny, dude. It's oh, it's, it's like a, a weight it's, loss it's, thing. It's, well, it's crazy though, but but it's a fucking fascinating thing because so Ozempic comes along. It is besides statins the most successful drug in the history of all drugs. Because people are well, losing an average of 17% of their body weight and all that stuff. But it's, okay. it's supposed to be for diabetes. That's how okay. it yeah, Statin's like a, a cholesterol thing, cholesterol. right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But Ozempic is so big that the company itself, I, I can't remember what it was, but it's, it's more profitable at this point, I think, than any other company ever has been in this short period of time. Like, oh, so the, the obesity money is epidemic, it makes sense. Right. Well, think about it. You just got to take a shot and you yes, don't Yes, but eat. here's the thing that they don't tell you. So, so the Ozempic now is, it's considered a lifetime drug. They want you on it lifetime. And for the first time, the National Pediatric Society is saying it's the first line of defense against teen obesity. So if you're a teen, what they're saying, and now the National Diabetes Association is saying what? They're saying... As long as you're on this medication that we're going to sell you, that's also subsidized by the government, that we make a fortune off of, that Wall Street makes a fortune off of, as long as you're on this drug, these drugs, and you're on Ozempic, you, you never have to change your diet. So keep eating all these simple sugars that big food is selling you. Yeah. That, that's number one. So there's nothing wrong with the way you eat. Now you got Oprah who comes on and says, oh, by the way, it, it's not about personal responsibility. If you're obese, it's not your fault. It's a brain problem. She just said that. You want to talk about a conflict of interest? She she makes a fortune with Weight, weight Watchers. Watchers. So you yeah. got to just all you need is our drug. So Ozempic. Now, how about this? This is the most incredible thing. Ozempic has who is their lobbyist? The NAACP, the National Association of Colored People. Black basically are 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 their lobbyists because they're saying to Congress, if you so, so you can use your food stamps in this country for soda, for soda, for diabetes water. You can use your food stamps, not in Europe. This is what you can use your food stamps for. They said this is not, a lot of politicians were like, you're fucking paying people. You're paying, you're subsidizing soda companies to get people fat. Don't worry, we got the medicine for it. If now the NAACP with the help of Ozempic saying, if you lobby against Ozempic, which is if you you're say, racist. change your, you're racist. It's racist. Change your diet. Don't change your diet. Don't eat simple foods. Keep eating the shit that we're feeding yeah, you. Just eat less of it. And we'll give you, we'll keep you on this drug for life. And what they're finding with Ozempic is it causes stomach paralysis. Here's the other fucked up thing about Ozempic. 95% of the serotonin that you make in for your head is made in the gut. And because it fucks with your gut and causes different kinds of issues in your gut, because it has to, it has Making to stop you from eating. Depressed. It's causing major suicidal ideation. But yeah. they're skinny. Yeah. 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 And as these drugs go up, <laughs> right. Yeah. But you're skinny. But you're skinny. You're skinny. So, so it works. Better to be, better to leave. Sad and skinny. Course. I'd rather Die be sad and skinny than sad and fat. Dead and skinny than dead and fat. Yes. Yeah.
That's what's take your on. poison. But let's take a little break, dude. You are buzzing these days because we're doing a live fire in the kid. That's right, baby. August, that is February. I mean, February fifteenth, dude. Not August fifteenth. February fifteenth. The 15th. website says two thousand four. Also well, wrong. Also February fifteenth. One show only. Yeah. One sh freaking show only at ten p.m. at the Vulcan Gas Theater is the stepmothership. Brian Callen and myself with a very special guest, live fire in the kid. It's going down one show only, one night only in Austin. We're doing a Red and Sea there. So come get you some. But you've been buzzing, dude. And I've had a concussion. Yeah. So we've been using some THC gummies. That's well, our secret. Listen, man. Because we partnered up with Five to give you free $40 bottle of Five Daily Buzz gummies. All you got to do is pay shipping and handling. Enjoy taking them before a podcast like we do. two to five milligrams of THC. And that's enough for you to feel it. They're called daily buzz gummies because that's enough to give you a daily buzz. I do it at night to wind down, dude. Fully Five legal. is fully legal. Yep. Ships all 50 states. Third-party lab tested. Grown in the U.S. of A. And you can get it for free by visiting 5FIVECBD.com slash fighter. I like their daily sour. That's what I do at night. The daily sour. It's supposed to be good if you have a concussion. I'm out of Look, it right it's now. It's a $40 bottle for free. You just pay shipping and handling if you go to 5CBD.com slash fighter. Okay, talk to me about O'Reilly. I need spark plugs. I need wiper blades. I need stuff for my car. Okay? Well, you wouldn't need spark plugs. If you have an electric, terrible car, but, but you I would need truck, wiper blades. Right. You would need wiper blades. You could do that. Um, I'll install them for you, I guess. It's O Rewards Bonus Points Month all month long at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Shop in store or online to receive points. Get rewards sent straight to your phone or inbox. Get two, three, four, even five times bonus points on select purchases. Receive bonus points on select items throughout the store like wiper blades be. Antifreeze, you don't need I that need either. Antifreeze. Coolant, you don't need because your stupid coolant. car. All right. Parts cleaner, motor oil, which you don't need for your stupid okay, car. Okay. And there's so much more. These bonus points can help you get to your next reward even faster. You'll receive $5 reward for every 150 O reward points to use on your next in-store or online purchase. Members can check points and rewards online anytime. If you're an already an O rewards member and not receiving your rewards, just add your email address or mobile phone number. Mm. You get 10 bucks reward for updating your existing account. If you're not an O reward re member yet, O rewards member yet, sign up as quick, easy online at O'ReillyAuto.com or in store at O'Reilly Auto Parts. I use them all the time. All the there time. There you go. All, oh, O'Reilly. O'Reilly. Yeah. So, so that to me, as far as like a conspiracy, just follow the money. It, we are, this is madness. Yeah, like, like that. Keep that, that as same as energy first, with COVID. Yo, yeah, facts. Don't, don't, I mean, facts. That's right, that's so, right. hey, booster boy over here. I didn't get a booster. Fuck booster off. boy. Oh, you got the first one? No. Yeah, you did. Okay. No, I did not. What, is this <laughs> no, like I, a point of contention? No, no, no. no, I, no we both, we did not. But, no. Uh, we did. In other words, I, okay, I got to go somewhere. <laughs> and no, the, the, I, I never got vaccinated. Cool, cool, good. Yeah, yeah well, you're still That's here. That's the first time I said that. Are we not say that? I don't think you are. <laughs> Why can't he say it? Because I said say I think it, but I mean, I mean, Who's going to get him in trouble? Showtime? I don't know, dude. No, airport. Oh, no, you're looking does. at HR. I don't you're think good. the airports aren't doing that anymore. I'm HR. They? No, airport's not doing it. If and you go to a different country, don't they yeah. still check sometimes? No. That's you no, have, to have, Canada, you have to have a card. No, no, okay. you don't. Canada doesn't check. They all stop checking. the COVID epidemic. You did have to have. Yeah, but th those vaccine. days are over. But even even the medical in centers hospital, in LA you dropped the mask There's mandate. There's a lot of things that you had to have. But in like retro, yeah. when they like do fine, you what? something. Okay, what? take this ticket. I just marked it. I <laughs> marked it in the I'm podcast. Yeah, I'm but you see, you see that he's compromised. No, no, it's not that. <laughs> listen, <laughs> oh, I listen. care about you guys. Yeah. So I don't get in trouble. No, that's, listen, that's I got. I have. Look, I got part of the Illuminati. Yeah, dude. This episode is brought to you by Big Pharma. You fuck. I have. I have my official vaccine. I'm telling you, dude. He drives a Tesla too. Yeah. Oh, that was you out in the lot. I knew it. I have to go on that rant about my. My. I don't. I don't know what you're worried about. They still got you shook. Well, no, it's just that I. You what? Certain places you're not allowed. You survived. In that I went through. Yeah. Or you get it and then you're compromised. You got heart issues. No, I'm, I didn't get it. No. I know that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> oh, what are they gonna God. do? <laughs> this is <laughs> wild. Like, right? I wasn't. Yeah. The reason I didn't get the vac the the COVID vaccine is I was going to Europe and I didn't have time because you have to space it out. So you have to get the first one, then the second one, right? And I but I was going to Europe and I, of course I I I procrastinate so i i was going i get the if i got the first one i would have to wait like three weeks to get the second one but i was already going to be in europe so i was like i can't do that i gotta figure something else out well timing's everything yeah now you, yeah. Now did you, you get did you get vaccinated fuck no yeah <laughs> <laughs> what no fuck no fuck no i love it 
Yeah. I'd rather fucking go lay in the street, which is probably safer. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, now kids get, I think, what, 70 vaccines when they used to get. Yeah, when 70. I was growing up, I got six. Yeah. So it's all, it's all fucking unbelievable. It's all dicey. So yeah, I don't even, I don't even, you know, it's not even conspiracy theories at this point. It's just fucking, a lot of the conspiracy theory shit that they're labeling now is like, oh, that's a conspiracy theory. Just like to me and to a lot of other people, it seems like common sense shit. And then but they, they, th they throw the word conspiracy on any, like if you bring up anything, yeah, just the way you go against the agenda, shit, right? it's a conspiracy theory. So conspiracy theorist now is like a negative term. Yeah. When the government started with JFK. Right. Like it's, it's just you like look any, how much they use the word conspiracy theorist. When it started with JFK, at first it was like one or two times, then the JFK stuff hit, and then the newspapers ran with it. Yeah. It used like 10,000 well, times. Conspiracies after that. have always been a thing, but like you can't say that whatever happened to you with this Megan the Stallion thing and you that you were talking about on your po on your on Instagram. Yeah. You cannot tell me that that's not in some ways that sounds conspiratorial. It sounds like certain people in power in the music business were like we can't have this independent artist with his conservative quote unquote message beating out Megan the Stallion. But you know why, right? Cuz they're not part of it. So they don't get a chunk that's of it. So fact. what they want to do is no no, suppress that cuz they don't want more of Toms. They want less They're on the losing yeah. side Because they can't control yeah. time. They're on the losing side exactly. of history. Exactly. Yeah, 100%. And it's just like, fuck, man. It's not even... If, if I was coming straight out the blue and saying like, hey, this and this and this is happening with, with, with the Billboard charts in regards to this song with Ben, and that was the first time anything that had happened, like, I could understand people being like, ah, oh, that's just a conspiracy, or at least being skeptical of it. But this is like not the first time we've been fucked with. Like in 2021, I released an album that I, it did fucking 60,000 digital sales, the album, and I sold 50,000 physical copies. Damn. Which would have made it the number one album on Billboard, period, by a fucking long shot. Wow. Would have smoked everyone. And Billboard said, at Billboard's request, I put fucking barcodes and shit on my albums, which is something I've never fucking done before. Because Billboard wanted the the they wanted the, the codes. barcodes be so, so they're like, make sure you put barcodes so we can track it. I don't understand so what the, he I does understand. that so they can track the sales, so they can okay. actually track the sales, so physical I, sales. Yeah, so I was like, okay, fine, we'll put we'll put barcodes barcodes on the album, like no fucking problem. So we we pressed the fifty thousand copies or whatever, put barcodes on the fucking things, supplied them with the information from the barcodes, and they're saying. Mm, we need more than that and i'm like okay well what do you need and they're like we need to see sales reports so i'm like okay so we've screenshot all the sales reports from the back end of my store like my e-commerce shit give them all the screenshots for, from the sales reports they're like mm, that's not enough and i was like okay we'll check it out i'll create you a fucking profile on my website right now yeah go on yourself I'll, I'll give you a password you can sign into my e-commerce store, and and which is fucking dangerous it, wild, for me. Wow, dangerous! I can't believe, yeah, wow. Like, but yeah, you're trying to make a point. Yeah, I'm trying to show, like, not just for my personal, like, rah rah, we beat the fucking music industry, but I have a lot of friends that are independent musicians, and mm -hmm. I want them to know, like, hey, you can be fucking successful outside of the music industry. You can create your own ecosystem outside of this machine, and you can beat them at their Thank own fucking God. game. Thank God. Right? It's fucking possible. So I'm doing it. It's a personal thing, but it's it's more than that. It's for everybody else. So I say, okay, here I've made you a a, a, a login. I, I've given you a password, and they refused. And this is like no fucking bullshit. This is three and a half weeks on the phone with these people, communicating via email every single fucking day for hours. I'm talking to people at Billboard. I'm talking to people at MRC Data who collects the sales numbers for Billboard. And MRC saying, no, this is a Billboard issue. And Billboard saying, no, it's an MRC issue. There's no fucking accountability. Um, and it just it ended up happening. Like, if, if we don't get these guys the, the access or, the, or the, the proof that they require within X amount of time, then we're fucked when we're just going with, with, with what our, whatever our digital numbers are. And I, and like, that's unprecedented access. Here's a fucking username and a password. You can sign totally in. Works. You can verify the sales in real time on your own with no oversight from anybody. You're free to do what you want. 
They just fucking said no. Pretty much told us to go fuck ourselves. Yeah, I'm curious if there's another wow. like a kid who who wants to aspire to be who's listening. It's like God, it sounds like a nightmare. Like you can see why they sign with big but you, but corporations. You, but you, yeah, but you know what? I think you're on the winning side of history. I think that independent artists are. I mean, you're doing it. You're actually doing it. Are you get? Aren't you getting a lot of people that reach out to you say like with support? Oh fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that's why. Like I, I just look at it. This is just revenge of the independent artists at this point. Yeah, they don't have anything that I need. I bought half a million dollars worth of cameras. I bought half a million dollars worth of lenses. I have half a million dollars worth of lights. I have fucking YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and Rumble and all the all the other Twitter. Yeah, all the I other don't know what they could it. offer you. I love it. Yeah, man. yeah. I don't know well, what else. How was that video you. doing on Rumble? I have no idea. Yeah, I have no idea. But I, I had five million views on on Twitter. It's got <laughs> fucking fourteen million views on YouTube. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, ninety thousand single sales on iTunes alone. Like it's it's fucking crushing. God. So there's just like uh, uh, there's love no it. resources that they can offer us. The only thing that they have that we don't have is relationships, and they use those relationships to fucking cock block us and put up barriers in places and prevent us from getting into rooms. That's why it's so fucking awesome to have guys like here, always here for yeah. you. That that will will give people a platform because you know there's a lot of other big platforms out there that whether people want to believe it or not are are controlled and there's gatekeepers and they're and, and the whole thing is in which is such a bummer because podcasts were the answer with were sort of that that was the whole point of podcasts have you done rogan no huh yeah i mean yeah we we've always been this way i mean we got fired from fox because they were trying to control stuff and he's like don't talk about this on the podcast i'm like can't do that yeah, yeah. he's like dude i'm telling you talk about it you're gonna get fired i'm like all right dude well it's what we do i went in the next day we talked about it and came back the following day and they had security oh, let, okay. let me no, in the he, he went bad on fox when we're in the fox room <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they want 50 percent of our shit i'm like it's and not there was happening. some giant football player that i guess you know i don't know you were like i mean if the guy wants to if they want to if he he's a giant guy i mean if he wants to i mean it's cause a problem i'm here <laughs> they won't let us get back in the studio and get our stuff wild yeah wild Wow. Yeah, that was actually that's right. Yeah. We had to just. I was like, "What do you mean we can't get back in there?" I was like, "If I can just get the sign, like, no, yeah, absolutely I'll see not." You later. Yeah, but I, I yeah, I, I think it works out. You know, I think I it think works out. I don't. I don't. Time, sometimes I don't think you do things because they work out. I think you do things because the, the right thing to do. It's yeah. the right thing to do. Yeah, I think that if you don't, if you don't stand for something, you stand for fucking nothing. And if you're not willing to fight for something that you can define, then you're not a fully formed human being. 100%. That's what I respect so much about you is because you're 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 criticizing by creating and you're putting your money where your mouth is and it's working out. I mean, the plus also is that you're super talented. I mean, I'm not a rap aficionado. Well, ha that you have you're to talented. Have, there's, the, you're not sitting on this couch, but you're not sitting. If you're not talented, there's no argument. Because then right. the corporates just yeah. like look at him, he sucks. Yeah, but they can't use that, you know. So I think that's kind of talent's what, number one. Otherwise, there's no there's no fight. Yeah, I think that's kind of what they tried to do with like the Ben record, right? Is like, because they're like, I'm not, I'm not daft to the fact that there's like, the novelty is fucking thick with, with the Ben thing. And it is like a big fucking troll. Like it's fucking Ben Shapiro. Like, does it's he hilarious. have, a, does he have any business being on a fucking rap song? Fuck no. That's, that's what's But great. that's why you're using tunes humor. In. Yeah. Yeah. But, but the, but the press, you know, they're like, oh, th this talentless hack, Tom McDonald yes. has put this, this other fucking idiot Ben Who's Shapiro on a song. I love this. Dude, it's oh, they, I love it. Yeah. That the, 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 the narrative. And TM they're like, look, he has to use Ben Shapiro to get views. It's like, Oh, you guys have no clue what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. He yeah, said like, videos way bigger than this. Yeah, TMZ yeah. body. Yeah, his videos us, are bigger fucking, than you. Yeah, and so like TMZ dragged us. Fucking Forbes, like Loki, kind of dragged us. Like pretty much ninety percent of the press coverage. Are, but think about what the press is, Bubba. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they're course. all over Activists. here. Of course, they're all they're over here. Of course. Not even so, so they all, they all fucking dragged us and made it seem like I'm some talentless clickbait gimmicky guy and this is my big moment in the sun with ben and it's like yo like i've sold fucking probably a million hard copies of my cds over the last six but years. those people that read like, that and go oh yeah it's a gimmick you don't even want you don't want them to stand yeah, the that. sheep well, that read that you don't yeah. want that yeah, yeah. That, did you see la times how many people they had to lay off how many journalists nobody's reading the la times yeah. nobody's reading these fucking you know, right games. right because they don't trust them because they've lost trust but you would think like those big corporations whether it's cnn even fox but like all the like la times new york post rolling stones you'd be espn like everything's headed down nothing's on a positive 
No. Scale. So you think they go, okay, what we're doing is not working. Joe Rogan just himself has had a huge effect on, on boys from the age of 12 to like 22. My son, who's 12, is <laughs> basically a conservative because he's listening. He and his friends are all listening to Rogan, listening to guys like you. They, they, it just because they've been they've been kind of demonized. They've been told that yeah. they are the yeah. problem. And so kids are like, but then they get a guy like you and they're listening like, but that's how I feel. I'm not a bad person. I just, I'm competitive. I want to do sports. I, I want to fuck around and be funny. I, I don't want to feel like a librarian's always watching me. I don't want to feel like there's a chaperone in the corner. Hey, stop dancing or roughhousing, boys. Don't roughhouse. That's what they're telling boys. Yeah. Roughhouse? It's all we fucking do. Yeah. You know, all we do is tease each other. All we do is say shit we're not supposed to say. That's the whole point. That is know? the point. That's the whole point. Like, if you tell me I can't say it, he and I, before the cameras are on, the shit that he, he can't help himself. He, we were going live. I say every word possible. We were going live, and I was like, hey, hey. I, even me, I was like, hey, you got to calm love, down. Yeah, I love it. I, I was already getting texts on the I'll way. I'll say Just every word every that would get us canceled. Shit, you, I mean, we would have gotten canceled. My children would have been canceled just yeah. for knowing him. And it Generations was just, would. He's like, I got to get it out of my. You yeah. know, yeah. don't tell me not to do something. It's going to fucking cause a problem. So, but for for you, like uh, as far as moving forward, like after you're doing the good fight, what's the, like how do you how do you win in the end? I guess just keep doing what you're doing. I mean, I think at the end of the day, like when when my career's come to a close and and I decide to walk away from it all, I think I get to pack up with my with my integrity still intact and like. Like at the end of the day, like shit like the billboard charts and, and, and shit like that, like I look at it as it's like a form of like revenge for me. It's like I've entered an arena where I'm not supposed to be and, and, I'm, and I'm winning. And I, I have like 35 or 36 or 40, some fucking ob obscene number of number ones on Billboard. So like, I, like, I, like, oh, yeah, but when so it comes to Billboard and so that stuff, like once you see how the sausage is made, aren't you like, I'm good. I don't need it, man. Yeah, but it's still fun. Yeah. It's still fun. And, yeah. and, and, and like, it, 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 it's, it's fun to stick it to people. It's like, yeah, like I feel like the music industry has treated artists like shit for so long and like exploited dreamers and taken advantage of people who have a passion for this shit and robbed them. And just, God, I wish you were a UFC fighter. We could use the same energy. Yeah, right. Yeah. So I feel like they've just fucked with artists for so long that like, as long as I'm capable of it, I'm just going to fuck with them right back. And I get to walk away at the end of the day and be like, well, I did it. And like, whether they want to give me a Grammy one day or not, like I still made fucking $50 million and, yeah. and, and had a blast and spoke for a bunch of people who Did felt like they didn't do. have a fucking yeah. voice. I got to speak up for people and, and be that guy on the front line and like, and that shit helps me sleep at night. So that like that. I, I think that, you know, you're, you're so needed. I think I said this to you on the phone, like people, the, the. I don't like saying the right because you know everybody gets branded far right. Or how about just people who are about traditional, partially traditional values? People say, "Are you right wing?" I'm like, I don't know. What's the subject? Yeah, I change all the time. I don't know. Yeah, it's. But I'm. It's, I'm. I'm not. I'm not. You know, don't try to label me. No, yet, I mean, I'll I'm storm the capital. Whatever. I'm not right. Right. I'm not gonna. Right. <laughs> well. Well, that, that's different. To. That's different. No, it's vibing. Right. But I, but but you know what I'm saying? Like the, what you're you're preaching to me, common sense and kind of the values that kind of built a lot of the stuff that we enjoy all the time. And that that's what it is, dude. Is like, but 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 it's like we talked about the conspiracy theory label, and that gets tossed on anybody that's that's that, that's interested in a narrative that's contrary or running not parallel with what what the mainstream narrative is. To doing the same shit with the with the far right right wing thing. Like I've never labeled myself as a conservative rapper. I've never labeled myself as a right wing white right wing rapper. I just like the woke shit that's going on the on the left. It's a lot. Like like the further you lean away from that, you, you can lean away from the woke shit and not, and not be, for the other and team. not be leaning yeah, in. Yeah, that's how I am. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I do. Like, yeah, yeah so that's kind of They like, all suck. Like yeah. left and right suck. Oh dude, the whole but thing I'm is I'm sure it's fucking not left. I know that. Yeah, but I'm yeah. not all the way on the right. No, I don't know yeah. how to be left when I can't follow any of their rules cuz they're always changing. Like, well, they're also I, crazy. Well, they're, it's also crazy. Like my my sister made a t-shirt for us the other day that said, "I'm not always right, but I'm never left." <laughs> yeah. And like that's kind of like how I feel about Yeah, me too. But but like you know, in general, like the whole, the Don't whole thing. Most the, of us are that way, though. And and isn't isn't the conspiracy that they, that the the people who might not even exist are being amplified? 
Like that's nice. Sure. I think, it's nice. But, but, I think well, there's a there's an argument being fostered like, by other agents. But, but I think that's why Trump's getting so big because people are like, all right, I'm not pro Trump, but I'm sure as fuck not this. Yeah. And if the option's this or this, I'm going over Did here. Did you see this? See, and that's yeah. the fucking problem. That's is, our option. Is, is that is there like, you know, no no matter who you vote for, or what or what team you decide to like endorse. It's going to go to shit anyway. Correct. And then they're going to be like, well, you fucking, you, you chose this person and it's going to shit. And it's like, okay, well, is it, is it a democracy or is it a fucking trick? Because if you give me three sandwiches and it's fucking dog shit, cat shit, and bird shit, and I choose one of them and start eating it and go, wow, this tastes like shit. And you say, well, you chose to eat that one. And I'm like, the three fucking choices you gave all me shit. were all shit. Yeah, exactly. Correct. Like, that, that and that's just you know from a million feet that's what this whole thing seems like to me Agreed. it's like it's not even about like people say like oh it's divide and conquer and shit it's beyond that at this point they amplify the voices that you're talking about so we divide ourselves like they don't even have to cut step in and be like okay whites over here and blacks over here and gays over here and straights over here they just amplify these super fucking extreme voices because they like, want conflict exactly. they want conflict yeah. so we're not focused on the real issue right. exactly that's how I it's because exactly. nothing gets done right. the fucking smoke they're screen. like dude yes. yeah they're busy fighting over here about trans rights yes. and when most are like we don't care whatever they want to do like no, no no but you hate them and it's like no but we want to get this done yeah, yeah. my, my yeah. thing is how do we deal i i think you're exactly right i think we're being t told to look over here and there's a whole bunch of like emotional issues kids and trans and, all, and we just go over here and you got to wear masks and we're looking over there but i think the larger threat is as technology becomes what it is and as we are able to be more and more independent you can see that you don't really need a record label you could make the argument that the political system as it is the president as a figurehead is no longer is, the, the, is no longer um, as relevant. You need laws and you need things like that, but you could make the argument that um, what you worry about is technology is making it very easy to control people on a massive level. Right? Dude, I am up to my neck in insurance right now. I had a little issue with the TRX. My little issue means I rolled it. So uh -huh. I'm dealing with insurance. I wish it was easier. I wish there was something easier. Progressive, okay? All right? It's the enter your name, enter, enter, enter the name your price tool from Progressive, okay? You mean I can call my shots? Look, the name your All price you tool do is puts you in charge the name. of your auto insurance by working just the way it sounds, okay? You tell Progressive how much you want to pay for car insurance, then they'll show you a variety of coverages that fit within your budget, giving you options, okay? It's freaking easy to start a quote. You'll be able to choose the best option for you. It's fast. It's just one of the many ways you can save with Progressive Insurance. Get a quote today at Progressive.com to try the Name Your Price tool for yourself and join the over 28 million drivers who trust Progressive. Million. That's a lot of drivers. They can't all be wrong. 28 million Progressive drivers. Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. Progressive. Listen, dude, I'm wearing True Classic underwear right now because that's the only thing you'll see. If I, if you strip me down, we got to go at it. If we got to get to wrestling, if I got to get low on you and these jeans are restricted. I might be distracted. Yeah. Well, you're going to be distracted by my Apple bottom because nothing, nothing hugs my three-piece set in dude, my Apple bottom. Dude, that sweater they gave us, I would wear it every day if I could. Today's rainy. I wish I was in that I True Classic in, I sweater. It, I it it's car. so nice. I have it in my the car. The jeans are nice. It's, you can wear it with it. Uh, it's it's so soft on your skin. You don't need like a long sleeve shirt. You know when you I don't know why you wear a long sleeve on a sweatshirt. Ooh. Anyways, right? Well, that's, that's no, with, stupid with a and old sweater, people. With a sweater? Nah, you don't want to do that. Sometimes it's itchy, not the true classic That looks sweater. bad, though. Hugs your body, feels real good. All the it's merch, nice thick boy merch, friend kid merch, it's all true classic. We've been using them forever, forever. Look, look, look. If you want to work out, get the stank-free, moisture-wicking shirts. They got this technology. It's unbelievable. I'll tell you what. Go to some company that charges a fortune for all their workout clothes. Then get your True Classic and take a look at the quality. How about for it, Valentine's Day? You got a date coming up? You want to be a little hot ticket? Yeah. You, you got to dress nice, dude. Look, Let True Classic help you out. Pick a little fit for your date. Get them some activewear shirts, shorts. Go for, you know, whatever it is. You, they got joggers. They got button chinos. Ups, they got button nice ups. chinos. They, if you want to look good, they're... They I just everything. rock their plain tees and hoodies. It's my absolute favorite. I, Anytime I'm, you see a t-shirt I'm yep. rocking, it's always true classic. Me too. I think if I'm on stage, it's 100% a true classic So if you're ready to upgrade your closet shop now with the exclusive link at trueclassic.com slash fighter, you get 25% off your first order no matter how you move. Make 2024 your most comfortable year yet with true classic. Once again, that's trueclassic.com slash fighter and save it 25% off your first order. Ooh, 25%. By the way, the reason you wear them, the reason I wear them is they hug my chest and arms and they're loose in the front. And that makes me feel and look a little more muscular, yep. which is important to me. True okay? classic. True classic. So...
Just dude. take, just take. But that's not always good. AI, we know. It's, not. It's, it's not. AI good. is the AI is the real danger. And dude, even shit as stupid as like the self-driving cars. It's like people are like, oh, it's so convenient, and it's like, yeah, well, wait till you get in that motherfucker one day, and it takes you to the courthouse for something you didn't you didn't even know you did. Correct. Or they decide you didn't pay exactly. a parking ticket and you can't drive to get exactly. to the hospital. Exactly. Or you can't take your fucking money out of your account with the with the or your but, or your money or your money expires or they have an expiration. But, but it's also money. another way to control you. Like electric cars is not the vibe for yeah. a million fucking reasons. Yeah. And it's another way you you don't want to drive anymore. You don't have any control. And they want to set the speed limit. You just want to get in and not drive. Right. Yeah, you could you be a bigger about, bitch? The, the, <laughs> you can't drive you know, to I work. I drive a Tesla. And he drives can't me call nuts. Call me a harder cuck. He's like you. He he goes. You're not allowed in my truck though because you're a cop and my truck won't start. <laughs> my truck won't start because you're a cop and you're probably vaxxed to the max. Because it, like, it, it's, it's that culture that subscribes to ele like I don't, electrics, whatever, but the culture surrounding it, it's the same culture that wants to get vaxxed, that the alpha males are the enemy. Yeah. Let's not it's, get scared away. It is. Electric it is. cars are pretty awesome. They're not though in any mean? facet. What do you mean? How are they awesome? They're fa fast as shit. I, I don't your have car's not fast. It. My car's not your fast. Your car's not fast. Sir. By all measurements, your car's not <laughs> my, fast. My car jumps off the line. No, it doesn't. The they don't though. There's there's gas powered cars that do. No. If your argument's that it's fast, then you would drive a fast car before this. I mean, I don't care. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I you don't, don't care. Really care about cars. You're doing it because it's easy. Yeah. But people don't realize like we're on our cell phone. So we're living as living in a simulation. So you're always on your cell phone. Yeah. So you're living in that world. You get in your car, you put plug in the address, it drives you there. It's just making Americans softer and softer. Or just it's convenient, but you pay a price for it. Like it's just it's it, there is something about free convenient. will. Yeah. Like, well, no, yeah, the price you pay is for, and, and it's like everything, they look exactly the same. It's white or black. The interior is basic yep, as yep, fuck. Yep. There's a screen on there. Yeah. I charge it. It's, it, I let guys, I let a, a yeah. bunch of guys have sex with my wife. I'm, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm a cock. It's cuck life. Is that, yeah. is that what you're saying? Yeah. Is that cuck life? And yeah. then who owns all the, don't <laughs> get me started. Then who owns all the charging stations? China. So we're more reliant on China. Here's what you I, fucking here, idiots. Here's what I, Here's Figure what, it out. Here's what I worry about. Take it easy, bro. Figure it out. Get your dude. Hand, put your hand down, dude. I, I love when people are like, they're fast. I'm like, bro, you drove a fucking Prius before this. I did. I used when to, have I, you ever cared about speed? Prius on purpose. They, he and Rogan will be like, just buy a better car, dude. I was like, well, nope. It's, it's LA. It's parking though, right? Is that, was that the excuse? I'm, I'm just not it's a car guy. It's always something. I, I, I don't care. I'm not a car guy. But what I think is interesting is that there's a social credit score already happening. So I travel a lot. Yeah. I go Airbnb. Mm. I use Uber. I go, I use Turo which is like the Airbnb for cars, yeah. right? It's all awesome. It's so convenient. It, it, it makes everything perfect. But you get reviewed every time you use it. And, they, yeah. and then you review them. So now pretty soon, there's a, there's a, I'm attached to a, do I have five stars? What's your score? Four and a half, probably five. Yeah. But, 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 I'm, but I'm aware of it. But you I'm can't leave a bad review. No. Like we've had horrible Airbnbs. I tell my brother, I'm like, dude, we rent this expensive Airbnb in Kentucky. You got to leave my, a my Dude, my fucking room was behind a train station. Yeah, I remember I stayed. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> I tell my brother, I'm like, yeah. dude, you got to leave a bad review. He's like, we can't. So we leave a bad review. Then they give us a bad yep. review. Then we can't rent the next place. I'm like, so we can't say anything. He's like, absolutely not. There you go. You tell him it's the best thing of all time. I'm like, this is insane. Although I, from what I understand, they can't see your review. You can't see oh, theirs. Oh, they see yeah. it. Yeah. Isn't that crazy though? So now we already have a social credit score in a sense. We're falling into this trap of convenience and abundance, and it's awesome, but we're paying a price. Well, I always say, it's like we used to have privacy. You're too young to remember. Uh, you might be almost. It, 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 I grew up with privacy. And then when the planes hit the buildings, we said to the government, you give us our safety, we'll give you our privacy. And they said, we'll do that. We'll give you cameras and a mic that we can turn on and you're going to carry it around in your, in your yeah, hand. Yeah. That's what the fuck is really going on. And then on. the safety's gone now. So you lost your privacy. The safety's gone because the border's open. But they so can the turn your mic level on. Has they do. Higher. Do you know that? Yeah. They can, I was talking to a bunch of NSA If your phone's CIA off, guys. they can fucking turn your mic on. I was talking to a bunch of NSA CIA guys. Yeah. They were like, get on. Then they're like signaling those apps, but mm. which I think are probably made by CIA. I mean, I don't, but it's really interesting. They're only they're private like, for now, too. Yeah, like, it's just. I, I feel like every the place that we're at now with the self driving cars and all this shit, like on the surface level, the convenience and stuff is like super cool. But I feel like it only like this is just like the beginning. Like the the, the other day, like the first person got the Neuralink or whatever from yep. Elon Musk, the brain chip shit. And like I've look, I fucks with Elon Musk. I think he's cool. I think he's a very 
forward thinking. He has interesting perspectives on shit. I dig it um, just because it's intriguing to me. But like, I've been critical of the Neuralink shit from the jump and people are saying like, yo, it's going to cure MS and it's going to cure cerebral palsy and it's going to cure all this shit. And it's just like, yo, like that's where it starts, bro. That's the selling point Correct. for mm. it now. But like, where are you going to be 10 years from now when like you have a thought and then you go to say it and you can't get it out your mouth? Like, because it's fucking governing Correct. W w your freedom of speech. Like, that's where this shit goes. Or they can read your like, thoughts. Yeah, exactly. That's where this shit is going to go down the line. Yeah, they're, they're not going to come out the box and be like, hey, this is capable of fucking controlling you from within. They're mm -hmm. going to be like, hey, this is this could save your mom's life or it could it could make your grandfather walk again. Or, you know, well, these you're are, also they're also going to be able to hire it, digital archivists. So you go to a job. And they're going to hire a digital archivist. He's going to be a forensics. He's going to be a computer hacker who will find everything you've ever written or sent, every text you've sent, everything you've, everything you've ever done. And they're going to find that. And then they can comb through what, what they consider objectionable. But yeah, if you look at it, that. it's just making everyone softer and softer and yeah. softer. Like the, the new generation, like that's why my kids, whenever I'm doing anything in my cars, I take them with me. They need to know how to change tires, yeah. change the oil. Because now, like your son, he's coming up now. Dad has electric car. Okay, tire blows, uh, oil. They have no clue. They have no somebody fucking with clue. rough hands. Of course, <laughs> it's just making do. it's just making those people soft. I call and my softer, wife softer. and she comes out with her rough hands. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Brendan. I fucking my car jumps off the line. Admit sure. that the Tesla's fast. No. What is it? What is it to Tesla? I keep three? hearing that though. I keep hearing. What's the Tesla three goes zero to sixty? Something they ride on. What's the Tesla? <laughs> hold on. Let's Tesla three zero to sixty. You're out of your mind. Watch this. But shit. what's fast do you be? Bubba, that thing you're gonna like be I, like this. I, I saw a video of the Tesla truck towing a 911. So four, no, four point one is when they actually tested it. Bring up Dodge DB one seventy zero to sixty. <laughs> Where you know? And else? my truck's faster than that, babe. By the way, the no. seven thousand pound well, truck's faster. Yeah, but you Tesla. have twelve hundred horsepower. Doesn't it? matter. Still faster than well, your car. But you had to put twelve hundred. Oh horsepower. shit. Oh, then my car that I got from the factory at Dodge is 1.6 seconds. You cuck. No, that's not true. <laughs> no, that's true. <laughs> Hold on. Fashion your plaid that you guys bow down to. Oh, that's that Dodge Demon? Yeah, that green car out there. Starches all your gay electric stuff. <laughs> Why is it gay? Oh, and then you have to charge yours. <laughs> Why is that gay? And then you got to charge well, it. Well, I, feel like well, I keep going. You got to charge it. Yeah, but I mean, what, like, uh, I don't know why I'm gay. I, it doesn't mean I bang guys. It does. Though. Or does it mean guys can bang me? Either or. Okay. Wait, you think that's, it, what is gayer though? If, if, if I bang guys, that's almost straight. Sure, man. I'm just, I don't know. You, Tom, you, you know the I'm not, yeah, I'm not jumping in on that one. Are man. you a car guy? <laughs> I, I, think, I think, yeah, gay goes b either way. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you a car guy? Not really, but. Um, I'll tell you this, not an electric car guy. I'm definitely not an electric car guy, I can tell you that. Then he's a car guy. Hey, what the fuck is going on here, man? <laughs> you got boosted. You drive the I Tesla. I never got boosted. You don't, voted for don't Kamala say Harris. I <laughs> Bro. I just want to get all the facts out, Tom, what you're dealing with here. Guys, I can He's explain. a CIA plant. Oh, no. And this isn't even my real hair. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, I thought Jelly Roll was going to win last night for fuck. Best New Artist. Then I saw the lineup, like, stiff competition. Who, and who, and who, they, who they have a tough time giving it to the newbies, too. Like and Jelly Roll's been doing this shit for fucking thirty years or twenty yeah. years or something. Like yeah. he's he's a vet as far as like the game goes. But in that arena, like tough, he, dude. yeah. When yeah. I saw the lineup, I'm like that's gonna be a tough one Taylor to win. Swift one. She won album of the year. Yeah, like fourth year in a row or something. Jesus. She's kind of annoying. I'm a, I don't mind her, but she always acts surprised. Oh, She's God. like, I don't even have a speech ready to go. I can't believe. I'm like, bitch, you've won three before this. It's not like this is unheard of. She's the most famous person in the room. Mm. She's the only artist to win that category four times. She just Dang. broke that record. Yeah, Nova fucks with yeah, Taylor no, Swift. I'm, so much, I'm, over there. No, I'm a fan. I <laughs> you just like, feel, I, you, a, you, are you a fan? I think she's awesome. Yeah. I don't mind her at all. Like the hate she gets, I don't understand. It's all good. Not my favorite music because I'm old though, right? Yeah, it's not for you. Yeah. But the th I, I, I'm, I'm cool with her. I like how they show her in the football games. I don't mind that. But it's just like, weird like, how yeah, it's a I, weird vibe. Like it feels like manufactured. She's like, oh, I can't believe. Like it's her first one. She's <laughs> like, I don't have a speech radio. I didn't expect this. I'm like, you're literally the most famous person on the planet. <laughs> of course you're yeah. gonna win. Yeah, I you know I I wasn't into it at all. Like I was super not 
into Taylor Swift and then Nova made me listen to like a whole bunch of her shit and like watch a documentary she's on her one night and I was like fuck like stupid she, talented. she's playing instruments she's writing a lot of her own shit and aside from the creativity she's like a fierce businesswoman beast mm, like, beast yeah and so like respect she's still part of like a an industry that I fucking detest but beyond that like as an individual mad talented yeah Stu like, yeah crazy yeah. talented really? yeah well, i think one thing in defense of taylor swift yeah. go ahead talking to the mic talking to the mic talking to the mic pull the writers because taylor swift only has like two writers on all of her songs and every other pop song on the radio has like nine to eleven i mean her really? writer did win best producer of the year but yeah i hear you but it's like numbers like if you look at tom songs it's tom and you look at taylor songs taylor swift and the producer and you look at any other pop song that's on the radio and there's like there's like 10 people, people. Yeah, agree yeah. that's true agree. We, 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 no, no, we, we lost a number one to uh who the fuck, Sam Smith one time and the the record that we were up against like we were fucking neck and neck for this number one on Billboard so I like after we had got edged out and I'm talking like only like a thousand or two thousand which like, is enough downloads in the, in the I was like scheme. fuck like I wanted to know what we were truly competing against outside of the the machine and the promo yeah. and all the bullshit I went and looked into it and there was like fucking 13 writers on the song damn I was like, damn that, that's, bro, that's so impressive wild. that you're doing that well like I didn't realize you had that many hits, number one hits on Billboard. Yeah, well, they, it's because they never write about it. Is there right. anybody else in your lane, like anyone else doing what you do? I mean, you're the original. <sighs> not, but is there anybody else it, trying to do it? Not, not, not that I know of. Certainly not at it's the so level cool, that bro. we're at right now. We're kind of standing here. It's so cool. Alone, and you get paid. You basically you don't have to pay anybody. You you get that revenue when they yeah, download. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So great. Yeah, that's wow. like that's one of the. You know, uh, 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 aside from like not wanting to be part of that like whole industry, uh, which is just like against my nature, like through and through, like it's fucking awesome that like I make all the beats, Nova shoots all the videos. Damn, um, two man team. Yeah, she's I, a musician in her own right. Yeah, aren't so, you guys like packing up the CDs and shit and shipping them? We were for a long time, and then that's what Jelly got, Jelly's like. You're gonna love this dude, man. He's packing all his own shit, yeah. doing all his own stuff. I'm like, yeah, we it. recently just stopped because it got so overwhelming, which was fucking awesome. Because uh, my sister was a nurse in Canada, and she was a nurse through the COVID shit. So there's motherfuckers dying in the hallways and shit and she's running around they didn't have ppe she's got no mask no gloves nothing she's in there working with sick people all fucking day which is like you know it's I'm, horrible i'm i'm like horrified for my sister and our shit started getting so overwhelming at the time she called me my sister calls me on her on her lunch break she's in fucking tears she's so stressed out like yo these people are dying all around me that we got no productive gear like i'm working fucking 90 hours a week she's like just gassed and i was like go in there right now and tell them that you fucking quit leave get on a plane and come to la you're like i have an n95 mask made out of hundred dollar bills <laughs> yeah. yeah so she went in and fucking quit and then flew out here and now her and her husband um they set up the lights for Nova and I on our, on our music video shoots. They um, they run our e-commerce. They do customer service. They pack all the albums. It's Dude. fucking awesome. Do you do any live performance? Yeah, it's it's been a minute. Like the, my last tour that's was where the real. Moment, that's where you're gonna pack mm, it in. Mm, no, okay. It depends. It's like for some people, yeah. It, that, but it's a li that's a little bit of like an antiquated system where it was like back in the day. You drop an album and then you toured that motherfucker for like. It's the real money because the artists like Bieber and like not even Taylor Swift. They're making their money stadiums. off merch. Oh. They're not making their money off their exactly. sale, like their exactly. singles. Why? Because, because they're with a big corporation, uh, who takes all the fucking money. Yeah, they got, got they got you know a label that takes. So he doesn't have to share it with anybody. They're out. Their their labels taking all the money and then going, but go on tour and sell the merch. You, oh, you can wow. have that exactly. Where he doesn't need to do that exactly. Wow, and so for people to download your songs, they come to your website. They go, they can get them off Apple and stuff. Or? Well, I sell all of my physical. So m the way that I've done it is like the music videos that I shoot with Nova are my singles on my albums. Um, so those singles that have associated music videos, those go to DSPs, iTunes, Amazon, mm -hmm. Spotify, etc., etc., etc. So you'll get like. You know, most albums these days are like 11 to 13 songs. Like my albums are like 21, 22, 23 songs. Oh. Five of those songs become music videos, which become singles that are available digitally. And the other 19 songs are just available on the CD. Mm. So if you want a physical album, hangovergang.com. Um, yeah. And that's where you get my physical albums. And aside from that, um, <coughs> you, you can get the, the digital 
versions on the digital DSPs. Facts matter. I'd rather be a defensive, offensive nut job than woke without nuts and no job. I'm not always <laughs> right, but I'm never left. Facts, feelings, this is fucking great. This is all shit that like myself and Nova and my sister, like we, we came up with all this stuff for the um for the facts drop with Ben. I love this shit. Those are the albums so good, there. That's dude. dope. Yeah. Thanks, man. God. So find the good fight, man. Yeah, you got some right, here, bro. brother. Yeah, keep, thanks, keep it up, brother. It's so we good. appreciate you coming on, man. Yeah, hell yeah. Thanks for having me. Just anytime you want. Like you're down the road. Just anytime. Just call up and be like, hey, I want to come on and promote something. Hell yeah. Seriously. I've been a fan of you guys for forever. So Dude, it's, appreciate it, brother. I love hearing that. And when you told me, I was like, that's fucking great because we, we talk about you. So cool. Cool. And, and we still got to do the road. We're in uh, Austin on the 15th. That is. Did Jay fix it? Nope. Still says 2004. February 15th. <laughs> that's a Thursday. One show guys. only. We'll be there. I count myself live firing the kid. Come get you some. Yep. And then Brian Count will be uh, at the well March, actually February 23rd. Yeah. I'm going to kill him. Uh, <laughs> and February 24th at the rec room. <laughs> Man, whoever's Louisville Comedy Club, March 1 and 2, and then Bricktown Comedy Club in Tulsa, Oklahoma, March 8 and, and, and 7. Tom McDonald, we appreciate you, brother. Hey, Dude, thanks, great, guys. Great time. Fucking A.